Hello everyone and welcome to week six of our course together. Uh, so this is actually going to be an interesting week because we're still doing our online routine but at the same time we will meet as a group in class on October 6th. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to read the articles this week and websites in the module four folder on digital storytelling and new literacy. So this is kind of a neat topic. They both go hand in hand. Um, you know, basically digital storytelling is using any sort of technological tool to create a story through video means and multiple representations and so is new literacies where you're basically either analyzing a text or presenting an idea in what they call a multimodal um, sort of delivery meaning that you're using multiple technologies multiple sensory whether it be video audio visual uh, really bringing all these aspects in um, I actually teach a whole course I teach a whole course on new literacies uh, at Canisius for my, for my graduate students. So this is a sampling of it, and it's a great, great topic. So here we go. We're going to watch that, and also some videos in the Module 4 folder on digital storytelling and the new literacy. So let me go into the folder. Here it is. All right, there's the action sheet. There's the discussion. I got a, a really kind of simple article about, you know, seven things you should know about digital storytelling. This is really good. Uh, then there's this great website. Uh, Kathleen Schrock is kind of this, uh, excuse me, this is the digital storytelling guide, I apologize, from Edudemic. Great, great article. It's a couple of years old, but the ideas behind it are really kind of neat. And they get some great links, like what is digital storytelling, why do it, lesson ideas on digital storytelling, how you you know, take some traditional lessons and really, you know, engage them in a different, different way, like historical slideshow, book trailer, great for history classes, obviously, family or community history project. And there's a lot of great resources here, okay? so. Please look at that. Then there's this really great site um, that has so much, this like this digital storytelling examples, uh, media resources, you know, how to integrate digital storytelling, you know, examples, all different grade levels, awesome, awesome site. And then this is Kathy Schrock's guide of digital storytelling. She's an amazing individual for technology. She gives so many examples. Uh, this is from her blog, links, research behind it rubrics I mean it's this is so much you can go through here and then the educational uses of digital storytelling uh, is a great great site so that's digital storytelling stuff then right here these three are about new literacies definitely read this one it's a very simple quick little article on what the new literacies is it's only a few pages long um, it's more like a pamphlet really uh, I want you to read that for sure okay and then there's a great website from the University of Connecticut about digital story about new literacies. They got a lot of like resources here for teachers which you want to look at and publications that are free. And then there's this book. It's actually a book. I don't expect you to go through the whole entire book. Um, go through the table of contents. Maybe pick some ideas that are relate to you. Uh, so this is a whole book on digital storytelling that I use with my students at Canisius. Uh, but there's a great, the first chapter is really good. Like it gives you a great overview of, of what it is. Then you got some different aspects about, you know, popular websites and, you know, how to like role playing, video games and all these other aspects of the new literacy. So some great topics there. Just maybe pick one and you know, give us your insights about that. Okay. And then I have my examples of digital storytelling projects, okay, that I've done with my students. So this is my class project, and I might go over this in class on Thursday when we meet together. Um, I do a lot with storyboards, and here's some examples of videos that my students did and rubrics that I did. And so I'll go over this again, but if you want to take a quick peek, peek at this before we meet as a class, I'll talk about this. And then in class on Thursday, I'm going to go over our final project. I won't make it available yet until we meet as a group, but our final project will basically ask you to use digital storytelling um, in a great creative way. So this is kind of a nice intro lead into our final project. All right? So that will work out really well. And as you go through it, there we go. There's our discussion. Okay, let me go back to the uh, action sheet right here. There's the post. Okay. And there is no deliverable due this week. We are meeting group on, on, on Sunday, I mean on Thursday, but by Sunday certainly apply to other students' as posts. So this will be kind of a nice few days to kind of digest the stuff, take a little bit of a breather. I'm still going to ask you to post before Thursday, uh, at Thursday evening, but at that point, nothing else for the rest of the week. So that would be kind of a nice little breather for everybody. Okay, so that's kind of our week at a glance. Hope this makes sense, and looking forward to seeing everyone soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.